88,125 bucks for a nickel coin. Look for this in this video because I'm gonna be going over some rare nickel coins that sold for a ton of money you don't wanna miss whatsoever. Make sure you hold on tight because I'm gonna be dropping some intense knowledge in this video, but I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. So let's just hop right into this video. First of all, we got this nickel here from 1962 that sold for 1,200 bucks. Now, when you're looking at this coin, it looks like it was damaged. Maybe it was in a fire or the environment ate away at the coin. Well, that's not actually the case. This coin was graded by PCGS at a mint state 63 brown. So what actually happened here on this 1962 Jefferson nickel was it was accidentally struck on an Ethiopia five cent planchet. Now, what a wild thing there. So what happened was likely a mint employee had this blank and they put it in the hopper and it struck down on the blank causing this error. Now, how do you know if you have one of these coins? Well, the easiest way Way I found is simply weighing the coin. If you're weighing your nickel coins and one of them weighs dramatically different, then that could mean the coin is rare and a different planchet it was struck on. Also, understand the US Mint has a 10% acceptability variance. And by that, I mean the coins can weigh 10% more or less than their typical weight. If you have a coin like this, you could have something very rare and valuable because $1,200 for this coin. Really quick, do you have a nickel coin that you think is rare? Let me know down in the comment section below what you have and let's just hop into this next coin. So this is a beautiful looking coin and you can tell almost immediately that the size is incorrect. The color is a very vibrant orangey red. Very beautiful. It sold for 1920 bucks. I won't spend a ton of time but this 1972 D 5 cent Jefferson Nickel was accidentally struck on a Philippines 5 centimus planchet. If you have one it's not damaged. It's actually really rare because it sold for 1920 bucks. I want to show you this quick diagram of of the history of the nickel coin going all the way back to 1866, all the way to the present date that we have today. You see, we have the shield nickels, the liberty nickels, and the buffalo nickels that not many people even know existed. This coin right here is an example of a buffalo nickel. I love the design on these coins. I won't spend a lot of time, but they are highly collectible. A lot of the time, they're not going to be worth that much money, but I want to show you a very important area on this coin. If you look at the reverse or the back of the coin, this coin has what's called a laminate error. So when they were producing this coin, the piece of metal had some sort of issue with the alloys in the coin causing this look. If you have this look on any of your coins, it could be rare because typically this coin is only worth a few dollars, which is a lot more money than its face value of five cents, but it sold for $59 because of this lamination error on the reverse of the coin. This coin sold for $228. Essentially, it is a 10% off center struck 1866 three cent nickel. That's right. I said three cents. Back in the day, these nickel coins had a denomination of three cents. But if you have a coin that's off center like this, it could be worth a lot more money than its face value. $28,200 for this 1942 Jefferson nickel. So it's important to know that the higher the grade and condition the coin is in, the more money it will be worth. So if you find a coin like this, you must keep it safe because condition is so important. So first of all, if you look in the back center of the coin above Monticello, you're going to see the full steps. Those full steps are important only on coins that are uncirculated or mint state. If the coin does not grade highly, the full steps don't really matter. But it's interesting because collectors really do look for these full steps. That is because it is the highest point on the coin and the hardest to strike, and it gets worn down the quickest in circulation. So it's a good sign of a very nicely struck coin. That in combination with the fact that this is a D over horizontal D variant of this coin, if you look closely at the D mint mark standing for the Denver mint where the coin is produced, you will see a horizontal D in that area. Now it's hard to see, but if you have magnification, it'll make it a bit easier. If you have a high graded coin and it has that D over horizontal D with the full steps on the back and it grades highly like this one that I meant to say 65, you're in for a treat because $28,200 for this coin, $258,500 for this small detail on this buffalo nickel. If you ever come across a rare coin like a buffalo nickel, you need to look in this area because it could mean the difference of a ton of money, guys. So this one, first of all, graded at an incredible grade of a mint state 65. To have any buffalo nickel grade this highly is truly fascinating. But here's the reality. This is a 1918 over 7 D coin. Now you can see very quickly in the date there, you can see that last digit has an 8 and a 7. Now 
Now, lower condition coins are going to be harder to see that variety error on that date there. But if you have one in any condition, it's going to be worth a ton of money because this one sold for $258,500. So I do enjoy this type of coin here. This one sold for $88,125. I got this request from a subscriber. Typically, I don't talk about these type of coins because some people find them boring, but we're at the end of the video now anyways, so most people aren't even watching. But here's a quick tip on these coins if you ever find one. These coins were produced from 1866 to 1883. They were the first five cent coins the US government issued after the Civil War. The design features a shield on the obverse or the front of the coin. The back or the reverse of the coin has a five in the center with stars all around it. The shield nickel was designed by James B. Longanchor, who also designed the Indian head cent coin. These coins were comprised of 75% copper and 25% nickel. These coins were produced at the Philadelphia Mint, as well as the San Francisco and Carson City Mint, there were more than 67 million of these shield nickel coins produced during their 18-year run. This specific coin was graded by PCGS at a Mint State 65 with a CAC sticker. This 1880 5 cent nickel coin sold for $88,125. If you have one of these beautiful pieces of history, make sure you keep it safe. Get the opinion of multiple people before you ever sell the coin because it could be worth a ton of money just like this one that sold for $88,000. $88,125. If you enjoyed this video, then YouTube says you'll definitely enjoy the video on the screen. So click on that video and I'll see you inside.